Hi friends, Danielle here with 4Patriots and I'm going to show you exactly how your Solar Go fridge works. Don't worry, even though this is some super advanced technology, I promise you it's so easy to use. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the cute bell next to it so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is top off the battery. Your Solar Go fridge comes charged and ready to go, but we wanna make sure we have plenty of power to charge up the battery. You can either connect it to the power cord or you can use the included solar panel. I'm gonna use the solar panel today, so remove the battery. Pinch these two holes together and pull forward and it slides right out. Grab your DC power cord. It's the one in your solar panel pouch and connect it to the battery. Once you hook up your battery, look for the flashing blue lights on the front. Once you see these lights come on, you'll know it's charging. The battery icon shows you how much power your battery has. Once you see all four blue dots lit up, your battery is full. Okay, now that we have a full battery, let's get our Solar Go fridge going. Pop the battery back into your fridge, then turn the battery on. It has its own power button right here. Press and hold it until the blue lights come on. Then press the power button right here on the front of your Solar Go fridge. Boom, you are ready to go. Now let's adjust the temperature. In eco mode, your Go fridge will automatically go to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. But let's say we wanna take popsicles or ice cream with us. We need to go colder than that. First, hold down the settings button for three seconds. You'll hear a loud beep. That means you're on the right track. Now the minus sign will let you switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and the plus sign will let you swap from max to eco. You can also use the settings button to toggle between power levels. A quick press lets you cycle between medium, the M, or high, the H, for max cooling. Or you can set L for low to cool on eco mode. Eco mode takes a little longer to cool, but makes the battery last a lot longer as well while medium and high are better for dropping the temperature fast. So we're gonna cycle to max mode, and then we'll set it to low to keep it cool. Once your settings are ready, it'll flash for a few seconds before setting. Now let's drop the temperature. First, you quick press the settings button. Use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the temperature. I like my ice cream super cold, so I'm gonna set it all the way down to zero degrees, but you can go even colder all the way down to negative eight degrees. And then you're done. The Solar Go fridge will do the rest of the work. Now you're ready to keep your food, drinks, and medicine cool without ever needing ice. And when you're ready to go, just like a regular cooler, pull the plug at the bottom to drain any water or condensation buildup. Then you can pull up on the handle here and roll your Solar Go fridge out to your car or campsite. That's all I have for you today. If you want more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button. What will you put in your Solar Go fridge? Leave us a comment below and tell us what you plan on keeping cool. Thanks for watching.